As we wind down to the final stretch of the regular season for the NHL, it's never too early to start talking about the NHL draft. If you all remember back to grade and middle school, no one ever wanted to be the last guy picked in gym class. You were regarded as weak, non-athletic or skilled in whatever activity was being conducted that day, or in general, just unpopular. While there always is the potential of NHL teams finding incredibly skilled players in the late rounds of drafts, what about specifically the very last pick? Unfortunately, unlike past NHL All-Star games, the last player selected is not walking out of the building with a free car, but they do avoid being marked as undrafted. From 2018 all the way back to the first NHL amateur draft in 1963, let's take a look at the history of the very last pick in every single NHL draft. Who was the best of the bunch? Fair warning, some of these will be extremely short in detail. 1963, Gary Meehan, 4th round, 21st overall by Toronto. Meehan didn't have any spectacular achievements during his 10-year NHL career, but he still put up over 400 points in 670 games. The fact that he even played in the NHL at all honestly gives him a huge advantage over a bunch of other players on this list. Being a Flyers fan, however, Gary Meehan should jog some memories since his goal as a member of the Buffalo Sabres during the time in the final five seconds of the last regular season game of the 71-72 season prevented the Flyers from making the playoffs that year. 1964, Michel Jacques, fourth round, 24th overall by the Montreal Canadiens. Jacques only played four seasons of hockey in the MMJHL, OHA, IHL, and CHL. He never played an NHL game. 76 total hockey points combined between all the leagues. 1965, Gary Beattie, third round, 11th overall by the Pittsburgh Hornets. Beattie never played in any major or minor hockey leagues after being drafted, but he does receive the notoriety of being the only player ever taken by a non-NHL team in an amateur draft. Maybe I'll do a video on the Pittsburgh Hornets story in the near future if you guys would like. 1966, Grant Cole, fourth round, 24th overall by Detroit. Cole never played an NHL game, but he did play four games for the main Mariners. So I'm sure my friend Tukey24 will get a kick out of that. Take a look at his goalie stats, by the way. Yikes. 1967, Kevin Smith, third round, 18th overall by Oakland. I mean, he was picked by the Oakland Seals, which is pretty cool. Zero NHL games, though. Three seasons in the EHL with the Nashville Dixie Flyers. Over 300 total penalty minutes. 1968, Brian St. John, third round, 24th overall by the Boston Bruins. Two seasons in the CHL with the Tulsa Oilers, 65 total points, zero NHL games. 1969, Daryl Nibs, 10th round, 84th overall by Montreal. Yet another zero NHL games. He did play for eight seasons and made it to the SHL where he was above a point per game player though. 1970, Gerald Haynes, 13th round, 115th overall by the St. Louis Blues. Zero NHL games, but I actually found an interview that he did for the Blues on SlapshotDiaries.com where he talked about his career and how hockey played a huge role in his life. Link is in the description, so I highly recommend you guys check it out, as well as there are a bunch of players on this list who have actually done interviews for SlapshotDiaries.com, so make sure to go check that website out if you're interested in any players that you might find on this list. 1971, Richard Cotu, 15th round, 117th overall by the Minnesota North Stars. Here is the second goalie on our list, and you guys guessed it, zero NHL games. At least his stats are somewhat better than Grant Cole's, and he played for a lot more years in a variety of different leagues. 1972, Ron LeBlanc, 11th round, 152nd overall by Montreal. Five AHL games, zero NHL games. 1973, Louis Chason, 13th round, 168th overall by the Montreal Canadiens. Unfortunately, no relation to Alex Chason. No NHL games either. And almost 100 AHL games, though. 1974, Ron Poole, 25th round, 247th overall by the Washington Capitals. Poole stayed mainly in the WCHL for his entire hockey career, but he was the last player picked in this amateur draft by the Washington Capitals, which were entering their very first inaugural season. 1975, Kelly Secord, 18th round, 217th overall by the Pittsburgh Penguins. He was drafted by two teams in the same year, the Pittsburgh Penguins and then the San Diego Mariners, 110th overall in the 8th round of the WHA Amateur Draft. However, zero NHL games. 
1976, Yuhani Walanis, 15th round, 135th overall by the St. Louis Blues. Walanis never came over to the NHL and primarily stayed in the Finnish Elite League for his entire hockey career with both Luko and Asen Pori. 1977, Grant Warren, 17th round, 185th overall by the Detroit Red Wings. I can only imagine how many penalty minutes this guy would have had if he had made an NHL appearance. He led the WCHL in the 76-77 season with the Calgary Centennials for most penalty minutes with 394 in the regular season, plus 16 in the playoffs. 1978, Doug Robb, 22nd round, 234th overall by Montreal. 93 points in his draft year and set a bunch of IHL rookie records. He attended the St. Louis Blues training camp in 1982, but alas, zero NHL games. Blair Barnes, 6th round, 126th overall by the Edmonton Oilers. Barnes put up back-to-back 100-plus point seasons with the Windsor Spitfires, and we finally have another winner. One, count them one, NHL game with the LA Kings. Zero points, then he went to the AHL. That was about it. 1980, Andy Brickley, 10th round, 210th overall by the Philadelphia Flyers. Things are starting to turn around a little bit here in the 1980s. 385 NHL games, most of them with the Boston Bruins, and had 222 total points. He actually got to play with a rookie Mario Lemieux in his first season in Pittsburgh. I think that's an accomplishment all on its own. 1981, Dave Kerwin, 11th round, 211th overall by the Winnipeg Jets. Just kidding, I couldn't find any of his stats online, so I can only assume he played zero NHL games. 1982, Jim Cooties, 12th round, 252nd overall by the New York Islanders. Zero NHL games, but I believe he does have a flooring business named Cooter Lumber and Sawmill, and it's supposedly still up and running. 1983, Greg Murphy, 12th round, 242nd overall by the Boston Bruins. Murphy was a junior B hockey player who was unfortunately plagued by injuries who never played an NHL game. 1984, Darren Ghani, 12th round, 250th overall by the Edmonton Oilers. Ghani never played an NHL game. Shocker, I know, but this is actually a big turning point in national recognition for the NHL. Ghani was actually the first Australian-born player to ever have been drafted to the NHL. 1985, Paul Maurice, 12th round, 252nd overall by the Philadelphia Flyers. Probably the second most familiar name on this list, to be honest. Paul Maurice obviously never played a game in the NHL, but he has been a mainstay in the NHL for a long time as head coach for primarily the Carolina Hurricanes and now currently with the Winnipeg Jets. He has a career coaching record of 685, 611, 115, and 99 ties in over 1,500 NHL games. 1986, Tony Hand, 12th round, 252nd overall by the Edmonton Oilers. Going along with Ghani, Tony Hand is arguably the British version of Wayne Gretzky. Born in Scotland, he was the first British-born player drafted to the NHL. While the competition in the BHL or BISL is nowhere compared to that of other European leagues or the NHL, you can't deny that Hand's stats are ridiculously insane. He played over 1,200 games and had nine seasons with 150 plus point seasons. Four of them, he had 200 plus points. There is always going to be those select players who never make it to the NHL, but completely dominate in another league. And Tony Hand is no different. 1987, Igor Weizmikin, 12th round, 252nd overall by the Edmonton Oilers. Four career NHL games with the Oilers, where he did actually get a goal. And then he became a prototypical Russian player and fled back to Europe in the KHL. 1988, Sergei Pyrikin, 12th round, 252nd overall by the Calgary Flames. Pyrikin may have only played 46 games for the Flames in his NHL career, but he is one of the only players on this list to have won a Stanley Cup. He was part of the Flames' 89 Cup winning team, even though he only played two games for that club, and he also played in Japan for one year before retiring. 1989, Kenneth Kenholt, great name, 12th round, 252nd overall by Calgary. Zero NHL games. A career player in the SEL, which is formerly the SHL, for HV71 and Jur Gardens. 1990, Ted McColchi, probably pronouncing that wrong. 12th round, 252nd overall by the Boston Bruins. Zero NHL games and a career ECHLer. 1991, Scott Dean, 12th round, 264th overall by the Chicago Blackhawks. Five total points from Michigan State University in two seasons, never made it to the NHL. 
1992, Peter Ronquist, 11th round, 264th overall by the Ottawa Senators. Never made it to the NHL, career player in the SHL, and I'm pretty sure he's like a play-by-play -play or commentary or public figure for Swedish hockey in some form. 1993, Hans Janssen, 11th round, 286th overall by the Pittsburgh Penguins. Four seasons with the Penguins and 27 total playoff games. Then he left in 2003 to play in the SEL with Moto for the rest of his career. 1994, Kim Janssen, 11th round, 286th overall by the New York Rangers. A solid all-around defenseman with a pretty good NHL career. Over 700 games played, four seasons each with both Philadelphia and Minnesota, and 284 points as a defenseman. So he technically was on the Blackhawks team when they won the cup in 2010, but he unfortunately missed the end of the season and all of the playoffs with a concussion. He wasn't included in the team picture, nor was his name engraved on the cup since he spent most of the season with the Wild. He never played in the NHL ever again due to that concussion. Not gonna lie, Chicago did him pretty dirty. 1995, David Engblom, 9th round, 234th overall by the Detroit Red Wings. Career player for AIK in the SHL, never played in the NHL. 1996, Evgeny Afanasyev, 9th round, 241st overall by the Detroit Red Wings. 30 total hockey games, 0 NHL games. 1997, Jay Henderson, 9th round, 246th overall by the Boston Bruins. 33 total NHL games for the Boston Bruins with 4 total points. He played in the NHL for a while before moving on to Germany. 1998, Sergei Skrobot, 9th round, 258th overall by the Philadelphia Flyers. 0 NHL games, another typical Russian forward who went to the KHL. 1999, Mikhail Donika, 9th round, 272nd overall by the Dallas Stars. Please refer to the last player who was on this list. The year 2000, Lori Kinos, 9th round, 293rd overall by the St. Louis Blues. Happy turn of the century, everybody. Celebrate by drafting another zero NHL gamer who played everywhere in Europe. 2001, Henrik Bergfors, 9th round, 298th overall by the Tampa Bay Lightning. In case Lori Kinos wasn't enough for you guys, here's another one. 2002, Jonathan Erickson, 9th round, 291st overall by the Detroit Red Wings. Hey, someone who's still currently playing hockey right now. We all know Detroit's scouting department is one of the best at finding those Europeans in the late rounds, and Erickson was no different. Right now, Detroit fans probably aren't the biggest supporters of Erickson, especially due to his cap hit. But hey, at least he won a cup with Detroit. Just, just the team picture. And his name was left off the cup again like Janssen. Ouch. 2003, Arseny Bondarev, 9th round, 292nd overall by the New Jersey Devils. Can you guys say another KHLer? 2004, John Carter, 9th round, 291st overall by the Philadelphia Flyers. I know you probably read that really quickly and thought I said Jeff Carter. No, John Carter. Zero NHL games. 2005, Patrick Hornquist, 7th round, 230th overall by the Nashville Predators. Another very solid Swedish-born player to make it to the NHL by being picked last. Two-time Stanley Cup champion with the Penguins and is coming up close on 500 total points. He also ranks third on the list for all current NHL players for the best expected plus-minus with plus 68.1. 2006, Justin Kruger, 7th round, 213th by the Carolina Hurricanes. Still currently playing for Burn in the National League, but zero NHL games. 2007, Trent Vogelhuber, 7th round, 211th by the Columbus Blue Jackets. Career AHLer. 2008, Jesper Samuelson, 7th round, 211th overall by the Detroit Red Wings. The Red Wings taking another Swede with the last pick. He's currently playing in Osvenskan. 2009, Pateri Simola, 7th round, 211th overall by the Montreal Canadiens. Stayed in Finland, zero NHL games. 2010, Zach Trotman, 7th round, 210th overall by the Boston Bruins. Trotman has had a fair share of NHL games so far in his career with both Boston and Pittsburgh, but it doesn't seem like he'll ever get back to the big stage anytime soon. He's currently playing for the Wilkes-Barre Scranton Penguins in the AHL. 2011, Johan Matson, 7th round, 211th overall by the Chicago Blackhawks. Zero NHL games, but he does have some really respectable goalie stats in the NHL and Allspinscon. 2012, Nick Ebert, 7th round, 211th overall by the LA Kings. He has okay numbers as a D-man when he was in Dallas' system, but he's moved on to the SHL now. 
2013, Robin Press, 7th round, 211th overall by the Chicago Blackhawks. Pretty much the same result as Ebert. Never fully adapted to the AHL and back to the SHL he went. 2014, Jacob Middleton, 7th round, 210th by the LA Kings. He filled in for one NHL game this season with the San Jose Sharks and is currently in the AHL. He's still only 23, so he has a couple more years to figure his game out. 2015, John Dahlstrom, 7th round, 211th overall by Chicago. All right, so now we're getting into prospect territory, and I believe the Blackhawks still have his rights as he's only 22 years old, and he's playing in Austin's con currently this year with 13 total points. 2016, Philip Helt, 7th round, 211th by the St. Louis Blues. A 20-year-old Czech prospect for the Blues, so obviously we still have a long way to know for sure what he is going to be. 2017, William Riley, 7th round, 217th by Pittsburgh. Riley is an NCAA prospect for the Penguins, still only 21. And then finally in 2018, Eric Florchuk, 7th round, 217th by the Washington Capitals. Florchuk is a 19-year-old WHL prospect who has very decent numbers for the Saskatoon played so far this year with 45 points. So as you might have predicted at the beginning of this video, the odds of the last pick in the NHL draft making it to the big time stage are very slim to none, but it can happen. The odds of that pick winning the Stanley Cup are even more slim, but it has happened. And clearly there are many players and prospects that go unnoticed throughout all of these picks and end up becoming some of the best players of all time. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video looking back at the history of the last pick in the NHL draft and what these players did, what they won, and how good some of these could end up becoming because they are still so young. Let me know down below what player you guys thought was the most interesting on this list and any other potential videos you guys would like to see in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.